Shrouded in secrecy, an invite-only meeting of the world's political and financial elite is underway in Switzerland. The annual gathering of the Bilderberg Group has attracted strong protest and numerous conspiracy theories. RT's Laura Emmett has been following the meeting. The exclusive ski resort of St. Moritz in June is perfect Bilderberg territory, out of season and, crucially, practically deserted. There are two hives of activity in town, though. One, the luxury hotel Souvretta, where around 130 of the world's most influential politicians, businessmen and sovereigns are meeting behind closed doors. And the other in a much cheaper hotel, where concerned activists are determined to break that wall of secrecy down. They've set up what they believe is the world's first alternative media centre. They'd work for mainstream outlets too, but they're not here. Just not enough Western media, not enough from the UK. It's, it's quite appalling. A Swiss news agency has just released some names of this year's attendees, and uh, on the list is the Chancellor of the Exchequer, George Osborne. I would have thought that makes it news. Other Bilderberg regulars include David Rockefeller, the editor-in-chief of The Economist magazine, the Greek finance minister and the president of the World Bank. They're all rumoured to be here this year, unlike another regular, former IMF chief Dominique Strauss-Kahn, on bail in New York for an alleged sex attack. There has been interest from the Swiss national press this year. Bilderberg, which is widely believed to support big government and economic consolidation, runs entirely contrary to the Swiss idea of independence, local government and neutrality. Blogger Manfred Petrich has run a successful campaign to that effect, playing on the reported 10 million euro taxpayer bill for securing the Spanish Bilderberg. We don't accept that a private meeting, because that's what they call themselves, a private meeting, the security has to be paid by the taxpayer. And I think a lot of people understand that, especially when the government is saying, well, we don't have money for this or that. And, and here we go, and it costs a lot of money to secure this private meeting of these people. The agenda's secret, along with everything else, but Bilderbergers are believed to be deciding on who should replace their friend DSK at the top of the IMF. They're also concentrating on how to save the euro, which was, leaked agendas show, their brainchild. We don't want to be in the EU, we don't want to be in the euro, but these are all the things that they actually created. The EU is a, is a construct of the Bilderbergers. The euro is a construct of the Bilderbergers. This Swiss Bilderberg is different from last year's Spanish one. Security's much lower key for a start, and there's no kilometre-wide cordon around the hotel. But secrecy still dominates, with protesters saying even the Swiss government doesn't know who's attending. Every year, though, there are more and more activists and increasing media attention. They're saying if you told us what was going on, we wouldn't have to speculate. Laura Emmett, RT, Samaritz, Switzerland.